the top intern brought to you by enterprise computing limited stay relevant Pepsodent charcoal and lemon infused formula and Pepsodent natural herbal formula for strong teeth and gums and for naturally white teeth. Adansi Travels, feel life's beauty. Center for Higher International Education Facilitation. Hello and welcome to the Top Intern. They have no idea what to expect on the show today. I will officially announce to them, but for the sake of the fact that you are watching us, you get to even find out before them. So we're introducing them to the real world of marketing, where they're supposed to come up with a marketing challenge, well, marketing campaign more like, for a product that already exists or is completely new. They will be put into three groups and I'm looking forward to how they're going to execute this challenge. But even before that, they would have some business coaches run them through a few ideas of how to run this campaign and then they'll hit the streets running. My name is Berla Mundi and again, you're welcome to the Top Intense. Let's go. Hello, hello. How are you all doing? And well, we're going to test you on your creative skills, your marketing skills, and your ability to be a team player, which is very important. And basically, we're putting you into three groups. And all you have to do is to come up with a marketing campaign for a new product or an already existing product. Your ability to market this product very well could score you some really high marks and guarantee your spot in the competition even further. Well, we cannot throw you into the lion's den without preparing you adequately for this task. And so you're going to have a coaching session with two um, strategists and they'll run you through a few lessons on how to develop a marketing campaign. And I know you'll require this and you'd enjoy this session. So all the best to you. And right after that, you're going to hit the grounds running and create this campaign. Are you ready? Well, all the best to you. Thank I'll you. see you on the other side. Okay. Many thanks to ECL and Pepsi Day. Let's welcome you. Hello. How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm well. Um, before we even talk to you, I want you viewers to take a look at his profile so you understand why we needed to bring him to this coaching class. Jeremiah Boabing, noted for his expertise in marketing, is the CEO of Group Boabing leading various successful ventures, including Boabing Books and Boabing Communications. With over a decade of experience, he is a sought-after speaker and trainer in human capital development, contributing significantly to the field. Recognized for his marketing acumen, Jeremiah has earned acclaim as one of Ghana's top 100 speakers and the number one young speaker in 2015. Well, and that's coach number one. Hi, Jeremiah, how are you doing? I'm well, and you? I'm good, thank you very much. These are your top interns. Hi, interns. Hi, Jeremiah. Aha, uh -huh. now all of Great. you will win the competition at this point. <laughs> the narratives. So there you go, it's good to have you as well. And please meet your top interns. Hi, interns. Hi, Hi. Good to meet you. Okay, I like how you're smiling. So this is where I take leave of you. Jeremiah will start, Mina will take over, and then sure. I wish you the very best. Deal? Okay, here you go. My name is Jeremiah. I'm a man of many parts. One of those parts is marketing. So I want to take you through a short crash course on how to develop a marketing campaign. But before we start with that, tell me about your project. Anybody? So we've been tasked to create a marketing campaign for the product and services produced by um, Enterprise Computing Limited. All right. It's important that you know about the product that you're going to market. It's very critical. So let's assume that Jetro wants to get married. Now, Jetro will dress well, look good, smell good, speak well. But eventually, if Jetro wants somebody to accept his proposal, he has to go out there and look for a woman. But Jetro has to know what kind of woman he's looking for. All right. So the most important basis for doing a marketing campaign is to do market research or analysis. Market research or analysis, what's the objective? The objective is to know as much about who you are trying to reach. 
what kind of woman is Jethro trying to marry? If Jethro tries to look for a slave queen, somebody who is so slain and has a certain feel and class, then he knows that he, can, he probably can't find that woman in a certain location. Right? So we need to clearly understand who we are targeting. So who is our market? Now, target market. Some will say audience. Who are we targeting? Who are we targeting? What are their needs? We need to identify their needs. We need to identify their preferences. Okay, so for the purposes of an example, assuming that we are, we are marketing a software product, okay, a software product, we want to understand the needs of the audience that we are targeting. Most likely, we are targeting businesses. Do we agree? Businesses. All right. But not every business will fall within our target market. So for instance, if you're selling an IT product that's about a million Ghana cities, then you know that not every business can afford that kind of product. So what kinds of business are you looking for? Most likely you're looking for multinationals. So you want to do everything you can to be sure of who your target audience are. That's when the conversation begins. So the second thing you'd like to do at this point is to determine your objective. What are you trying to achieve? What's the purpose of the marketing campaign? So let's make suggestions. What kind of purpose can we have for your marketing campaign? Anybody? Yes. So um, to generate new leads. Okay, so generate new leads. All right. Now, depending on whether the product is a new product or an existing product, there may be a more primary objective you are trying to achieve. Who can guess what it is? The sales. So? Now, I like how you're thinking. Marketing people must think sales. Very often, marketing people think about this. Marketing people often become obsessed with brand awareness. And it's a good thing. But a business cannot pay its bills with awareness. A business pays bills with sales. So all the marketing you're going to do, your objective must be to ensure that eventually people are buying your product. But the primary thing you want to do, especially for a new product, is to increase awareness. The more people hear about something, the more it stays on their mind. In marketing, it's called TOMA, top of mind awareness. The third thing we would like to look at now for every product that you are selling, in almost many cases, almost all cases, you have competitors. There are people that you are competing with on the market. So what's outstanding about your products? Marketers call that USP. Unique selling proposition, don't be confused. It's plenty English, but all what that means is that what is different about your product? What unique value is your product offering? Now, before you can do unique selling proposition, you may want to do some research or understand what other products like your products exist and what your unique selling propositions are. And so far, we've done three key things. We've done one, we mentioned one. one the first thing was what? Market research or analysis. The second was what? Objectives. And the third is what? Unique selling proposition. So having done that, then we can start the journey of putting together a marketing campaign or MX. Good. Advertising. Give me the results. My do sales provision, give me some results. A budget. I mean, it's, it's important for marketing people to always start their campaign with a budget. You can put together a very brilliant, sophisticated marketing campaign, but you don't know how much money you have. So you can't really run the campaign. So how much is every channel you put in your marketing mix going to cost you? You have to sit down and do your budget work. Well. Now that will require a lot of research, calling media houses, checking Facebook campaigns, and finding out how much does it cost to run a Facebook campaign? 
How much does it cost to run a TV ad? How much does it cost to run a radio ad? How much does it cost to advertise the newspaper? How much does it cost to run a sales team for the next 12 months? If you're hiring a sales team of five people and paying them all of them 2,000 CDs, how much will it cost to run those people? How much money would they make for you? So once you put together your budget, then the final part, you do your analytics and find out, do your monitoring and evaluation and find out the results, the campaign that you have put together, what's the results that it's produ producing for you? How long is it going to run? So, my friends, here ends my marketing crash course. Hello, everybody. Hi. It's good to finally meet you all. My name is Wilhelmina, marketing and communication specialist at ECL. Okay, so before we begin, I want to understand what you know about our brand. Because, of course, you'll be selling our products. So, can anybody tell me anything about ECL? What you know about ECL? ECL is an information technology company that provides technological assistance to businesses to stay relevant in these times. Okay. Any other? Go ahead. Okay, so ECL is an IT-based company that provides, um, they work with external partners to provide IT-based solutions to its clients in order to provide seamless operations and safe operations as well. Okay. So ECL is a tech company which provides IT solutions to firms to facilitate their work. Okay. I think I have a fair idea of what you know about ECL. So let me help you to couch it better. Because everybody seems to be saying something about ECL, but you don't encompass everything that ECL is. So this is us, ECL. We are an IT and professional services company, and we provide solutions to businesses. Okay? So first things first, we are a B2B company. Does anyone understand what B2B means? Okay. Exactly. It means we provide solutions to businesses. And for us, we say we help businesses stay relevant. In this age where we are advancing day in, day out, technologically. Okay, so we provide IT services to businesses to help them stay relevant in these times and provide the services that they provide as well. So it's not necessarily just IT service or IT service companies, but all businesses that need IT to facilitate their business. Okay. Now there are four major things we offer. We provide hybrid cloud infrastructure. We provide backup and recovery services. We provide cyber security and then business process automation. Well, as you can see right behind me is the coaching session where uh, contestants are soaking in all the knowledge they need uh, to make themselves the industry experts that they are required to become at the end of this competition. And helping them do that is marketing and communication specialist here at ECL, Wilhelmina Kla and Jeremiah Boabing, who's an entrepreneur and a business coach. All the learning is taking place right here and I'm excited because you can see right behind me that these uh, contestants are ready to soak in everything. Um, we have three products on board. ECL works with OEMs, we call them Original Equipment Manufacturers, to provide the services that we offer. Okay, NetApp is one of our major partners and we are a certified professional services partner to NetApp. Now, when we sell NetApp, we sell simply data storage for backup and recovery purposes, okay? I mentioned we provide cloud infrastructure. I mentioned we provide cybersecurity. I mentioned we provide backup and recovery services. Now, working with NetApp, we provide these services for businesses. Okay, let's move on to Workmate. Workmate is your Workmate, is your ally, is your business partner. What does Workmate do? Workmate provides a platform where you can have multiple automations in one space. Okay, so what is automation? Automation is just using software robots to do mundane, repetitive processes. Workmate allows you to choose automations for the various processes that are done within your business. So the last one, Smart Cover. So Smart Cover, we call it the digital insurer. It is an insurance application that allows you to access the various insurance products available. Okay, so we sell SmartCover to businesses. They buy into SmartCover, we customize it for them, 
and then their customers can get real-time access to the insurance products available. Now, based on this breakdown, you now see that these products are going to be sold to businesses and not individuals, meaning the target audience has changed. I've been in the room for quite a while and I can tell that there's some sense of curiosity and determination all together. These interns are really ready to take on the world of marketing and I can't wait to see what the results will be. So well, let's wait and find out how that goes. But as I stand now, this session is almost over. Um, please, do you need um, the Net app to complement the work, uh, mate? Because um, um, with your with what you said earlier, um, Net's app has the cyber security and it also protects your files and all that. So would you need the Net app to help you uh, work faster since um, the workmate is, uh, serves as a robot for um, your company? Every company needs everything I mentioned. So <laughs> cyber security. So once you have NetApp, of course, you have a hub where you have all your storage and then you have your automation platforms also working. So you are streamlining work, basically. So I have a question about NetApp. Uh, with the definition or the explanation you gave about what NetApp does, you mentioned robots that automate processes. So if I want to understand it in a layman's perspective, say a school wants to partner with you how am I going to send out that information to the school? Am I going to make them understand that it works like the way Excel is, where you create the commands, input it, and then Excel does the rest of the work for you? Is that how NetApp does its work? Yes, so basically the software robot is taught the rules of the process, the workflow of the process. But remember, it's not everything that can be automated. So the first thing that ECL does is that's a, a process discovery to understand the areas that can be automated. And once that is established, then the software is fed with the information and the commands, yes. Is there a way that there could be a data loss when you are trying to switch from the existing uh, system to the auto automated system? Yes, thank you. Okay, so Workmate integrates with existing systems. So we understand the systems that you work with and then give you the solution towards that. Um, I have a question. With your products, they are all technologically based. Do you have a contingency in case there's a technological glitch? Technology is technology. So for everything, of course, you know the pros and cons. And we provide support. So the support handles emergencies that are beyond your control. Well, the coaching session is over and our top intents have divided themselves into three groups just to find out what product they're going to develop a marketing campaign for. Let's take a look. Our marketing mentors are here to guide and inspire. In this session, they encourage our interns to think outside the box, to challenge the status quo and to redefine what's possible. True innovation emerges when minds collaborate. Our interns, guided by seasoned marketing professionals, learn the art of teamwork and the magic that happens when diverse talents unite. Many thanks to ECL and Pepsi Day. Meet David Kofiaflu, a seasoned senior business leader with expertise in PL management, sales, and project management across FMCG, telecoms, and petroleum industries in Ghana and West Africa. As the general manager of GB Foods Ghana, known for Gino and Pomo products, David's transformative leadership has earned him the title of CEO of the Year Food Category at the Ghana CEO Summit and Awards and National FMCG Ultimate Man of the Year. 
Under his leadership, GB Foods has solidified its position as a multinational force headquartered in Spain, dominating the African and European markets. His commitment to growth is reflected in significant investments, including notable factory expansion in Ghana and the launch of a new tin line for tomato mix products, demonstrating his dedication to innovation and success in the ever-evolving market. Regina Honu, CEO of Stronku Academy, is a pioneering Ghanaian social entrepreneur and a software developer. She founded the first coding and human-centered design school in West Africa, training over 20,000 women and girls, along with boys, men and children with disabilities. Regina's impactful initiatives have earned her awards like the Women in Tech Global Awards and recognition as one of BBC's 100 Most Inspirational Women. She is a fellow with Ashoka, Aspen Institute and a global shaper of World Economic Forum. Regina's dedication extends to the Tech Needs Girls Ghana movement advocating for gender diversity in technology. She has also received awards such as the Women of Courage Award for Technology. Regina Honu continues to inspire and make a lasting impact in the tech and education sectors. Michael Odame Tutu is a highly accomplished senior engineer with expertise in systems integration and sales. Michael's dynamic leadership and deep understanding of sales strategy has earned him recognitions and recommendations in the tech industry. Moving on to becoming sales manager for Enterprise Computing Limited ECL Liberia, he consistently exceeded sales targets, closing deals worth over $1 million. He was subsequently promoted as regional sales manager for ECL. With his expertise over the years, he has built a proactive sales team who are driving the force and closing deals. Michael's extensive knowledge of tailored IT solutions is sought after by organizations looking to leverage technology for business success. 48 hours later and our top interns are ready with their strategies to present to our faculty who are by the way seated in there with eagerness waiting to hear from them. So we have Team Powerhouse, Team Brainiacs and Team Smart Cover. Which team is going to have the most fantastic, most brilliant presentation? Well, we're yet to find out. So let's all go back in there and take a look at how it all goes down. I'm the PRO for Team Smart Cover. These are my team members. We have Moses Anyomi, our CMO, Abdul Basit, our marketing analyst, and we have Frank Yoval, our brand marketing manager. So we are here today to pitch our marketing campaign plan. We are saying that with Smart Cover, we aim to transform the insurance landscape. And so who are our target audience? Our target audience are key decision makers and top level managers in insurance companies, specifically insurance companies that offer general insurance policies to their customers. And for our market research, we simplified all our findings into a SWOT analysis. With our SWOT analysis, we identified the fact that with ECL's partnership with top leading OEMs such as Microsoft, Lenovo, it gives us an advantage over our competitors. And also our unique features such as user-friendly interface gives us an advantage Advantage as well. We also offer quality training and flexible payment plans for our clients and also our app, unlike other apps that we discovered, supports all operating software. For our weaknesses, we realized that um, Smart Cover requires internet access to operate and so in the absence of internet, Smart Cover will not operate. For our opportunity, we will leverage on the positive reviews from existing clients and from the threads. The use of WhatsApp chatbots by some Insurance companies appear to be some of our threats, but trust me, when next we are presenting, I'm sure our threats will no longer be a threat. For our campaign objectives, we are aiming to achieve a 15% increase in smart cover adoption during this campaign and also to generate 25 qualified leads, as well as achieve a 50% retention among existing smart cover users. 
Our unique selling proposition, we identify one, which is streamline invoicing, expand client base, into enhance integrations and partnerships with top OEM. So our key benefits, what is an app if our clients do not benefit from it? So I identify key benefits. One, our clients are going to have competitive urge, enhance customer experience, streamline operations and increase market reach. For our marketing mix, we believe our marketing mix is the heart of this campaign and so we'll draw on personal selling. For personal selling, we aim to schedule personalized meetings to demonstrate to our top level managers or at of target insurance companies and also to highlight the specific benefits of smart cover that addresses their unique business challenges. Another strategy we are going to use is interactive content. We also aim to leverage industry events and webinars to address um, our target audience. And finally, we want to leverage email campaigns to address our target audience. For our sales promotion, we aim to offer free trials of Smart Cover to allow potential customers to experience the platform beforehand, as well as offering flexible payment plans to these people. For our campaign duration, we are aiming at executing this plan in one year. For our proposed budget, we propose that the company invests 18,700 Ghana cities into our campaign. For our metrics, how do we get to know that our campaign has achieved its objectives? One, by tracking the effect of campaign on sales, revenue, and clientele. Two, by analyzing customer satisfaction with Smart Cover, and also to monitor brand awareness and sentiment towards ECL. We conclude this presentation with a call to action. We say that we offer a free consultation to help insurance companies assess their digitization needs and develop a strategy for implementation. And also to encourage insurance companies to contact ECL to schedule a personalized demo of Smart Cover. Thank you so much. This has been Team Smart Cover. Okay. okay, so I see your weaknesses. You have Smart Cover requires internet access. You know there are ways you can turn weaknesses into uh, opportunities, right? So how do you intend going about uh, that? Basically, we have um, three types of apps, the native apps, and we have the web apps. Okay. Smart Cover is a web app. Okay. So if there's a way to change it to a native app, uh, the native app doesn't uh, necessarily require internet service. So if there's a way to make it a, a native app, then that will solve this weakness. So are you saying the solution is more like a web app? Yes, please. Just web? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good evening, honorable members and faculty members. This is Team Powerhouse. My name is Kosha, and my members are Abraham, Helena, and Steven, representing on WorkMeet. So, what makes WorkMeet unique? WorkMate is an AI tool that is here to make work very efficient. With a suite pre-built built in automated services, it reduces error, it saves time, and then it improves customer interaction. And so for every campaign, there is an objective. So for our objective, we are going to increase brand awareness by, in, by achieving 40% increment in media engagement, and then generating 100 leads within the next six months through targeted ads and then market content. And so for our products, what makes it very unique or a strength, we can talk about the user-friendly interface it has. So because of this user-friendly interface, anyone who is not even wizard or a program wizard can navigate the workmate and then use it very easily. Also, for our weakness, we can talk of it heavily dependent on internet. As a result of that, in any scenario where there is no internet, it will pose a very huge challenge. And then for the threat of our product, because of security measures, it, it deals with a lot of data. And so in any issue where there is cyber security and then there is a hack, it can cause reputational damage to the data, to the end, to the industries involved. And then for the opportunities, because of the unique opportunities WorkMate has to offer, there are other companies that we can accommodate on board. And so for our target audience, we are looking at chief executive officers and chief financial officers and other decision makers of companies such as the banking and finance and then healthcare organization. Why WorkMate? WorkMate is very fast, it is cost efficient, it reduces error, and then it enhances productivity. So some of the features we can talk about is its analytic data and its ability to interact with the AI and helps very fast. Okay, so I'm taking it from where my colleague ended. 
Um, so we are going to look at the marketing strategies we are going to use. We are going to use targeted advertisements. We are also going to use out outdoor advertisements. We are going to use thought leadership content. And then we are going to use referral programs. So with the targeted advertisement, we are going to use social media advertisement. We are going to also use search engine optimization and then marketing. And then we are going to look at behavioral retargeting where um, we display workmates out to users who have previously visited our company website, encouraging them to return. And then this is an example of the sponsored ad we are going to use. And then we are going to use um, video content as well. With the video content, this would include product demonstration. We are going to have tutorial interviews and other forms of um, video that will be shared on our various social media pages or embedded in our blog post. So, and then with all these platforms we are going to use, with the outdoor advertisement, we are going to use billboards, we are going to use event sponsorship signage, we are going to use digital screens. And then with all these things, we are going to have call to actions where people can contact us, they can click to learn more, they can subscribe to our social media channels. We are going to also use store leadership content, which includes expert interviews and question and answer sessions. We are also going to use webinars and podcasts. With the interviews, we are going to industry, interview industry leaders. We are also going to in interview internal experts to share their perspective on relevant topics that are related to WorkMeet. We are also going to use um, the webinars and then the podcast. With webinars and podcast, it will be hosted by monthly and it would feature experts discussing how seamless WorkMeet is and how it addresses common pain points. And then we are also going to secure speaking engagements at industry specific events. And then um, Personalized outreach, we realize that some of our target audience, it will be very difficult to reach them. So we are going to request appointments so that we meet with these decision makers to talk to them one-on-one -on -one about the product we have to offer. And so these are some of the call to action plans that we have. We have the sign up now, we have the call list now, we have subscribe now. And then um, we also, with the how we are going to measure our, our performance, we are going to look at specific social media engagement, how our interactions are going on on social media platforms. We are going to use analytic tools to measure website traffic. We are going to look at the click-through rates, yes. And then these are examples of analytics. And so basically, this is what uh, we are, our marketing campaign is going to be about. This is our budget. We can see billboards here. We can see search engine optimization. Uh, the total that we are looking at using is about 86,900. So why would you not say goodbye to mundane tax and say hello to efficiency with workmates? Thank you very much. So when you go down, you realize some of our video. This is a, an, a, a picture of some of the ads we are going to use. This is actually the... Google ad that we are going to create, and then this is some of the Facebook sponsored ad. Thank you very much for your time. Say you are putting it on all these channels and you start generating leads, people are excited about WorkMate. And um, how then will you link it to whoever decides to purchase it? Because you are doing B2B, yes. right? So now everybody's heard about WorkMate, but you are targeting, let's say, a chief executive officer. And um, once they decide to purchase it, what happens? Will this solution be something that they think is, is for everybody or is for a particular company? Okay, so with WorkMate, the services that WorkMate offers is for various companies. It's not just for a specific company. Mm -hmm. A lot of companies within different industries can use WorkMate. So if they are interested on our website, there are going to be links where you can get started or links where you can purchase the software if you need it. Or there are going to be call to actions where you can equally with uh, Google Ads where you can equally come to our offices or contact any of the people at the other end of the line to help you get the products that you're looking for. Thank you. With the way you are describing your, your approach I am afraid you may not make any sales because each time you say if they are interested they need to either contact you, if they are interested they need to go to your website or they need to go to something. Remember you are in a competitive environment. Now in line with the question she asked, you've talked about several, if you had an opportunity to talk to only two, which two channels will you use to get the maximum impact for getting the decision to buy? With um, WorkMate, WorkMate is the best tool they have to um, use. It's not about they being um, interested in it, but then it's something, it's a must have, and it's user friendly. So we would go um, to the office, um, do a personal, uh, with a personalized outreach, we can talk to them and explain it to them how WorkMate is used. So we would use uh, personalized outreach. And then with um, billboards as well, 
um, because they use busy um, roads all the time, we would use uh, our billboards will be at um, vantage points, which is um, like Tet 7 and other um, traffic um, zone areas, and then that would so it's billboards and personalized outreach. I think one key thing my friends didn't make mention of it's a subscription basis. You subscribe and then, uh, like, like she said, we have, we have free trials on our website where you can log on to and to, to, uh, to be able to track how many people have logged on to what we are doing so far, we'll have, we'll have like a metric. Like my friend mentioned, social media engagement is very key. We have Google and analytic tools that we can be able to use to measure how people have uh, uh, enrolled on our platform as well. That's what I, that's what I wanted to add. Thank you. Good evening, board and faculty. We are the Brainiacs, and then we are here to present to you our marketing campaign for our product, NetApp. Our presentation will begin with an overview of ECL, the company that gives us NetApp all the way to our measurement and analytics. Now, who is ECL and what do they do? ECL is essentially a company that gives you tech support, anything IT solutions, they are ready and available to help you with it. These are the services that ECL offers. Now to our product, NetApp. What is NetApp? NetApp is a hybrid real-time cloud infrastructure that helps you to manage, protect, and then process your data. We provide you with data security in real time as you go. What are the key features of NetApp? Hybrid infrastructure, we bring other elements together. We give to you real time. So as your data comes in, we are processing and managing it for you. Then flexibility, our service can adapt to any system at all. Then NetApp's competitive edge is the fact that we do real time data processing and then we have a team that enables you and then gives you tech support on the go 24 seven. This is a SWOT analysis of net app, our strengths, our weaknesses, and then our opportunities. Now to our market analysis, the industry insight. What does the industry look like? The industry trends, gradually people are moving towards cloud technology, and then people are moving towards cloud data management. So there is a big market here. Then there is a competitive landscape. More players are coming in. So there is the opportunity to grow. Then the industry challenge. Tech keeps changing from time to time. So there is that adjustability. What approach is NetApp giving you? NetApp is ready to adapt to emerging trends and then help you to manage and process your data. Competitors insights. This is what we make of our competitors. These are the people who are doing the things that we also do. EMC from Dell, Dell Technologies, and then Hewlett Packard Enterprise. What is the purpose of our marketing plan? Why are we even doing this? First of all, we want to boost the awareness of NetApp. We want to get more people to know about NetApp. And then that should give us more leads, and those leads will lead to sales generation. Our campaign will last for six months. Our unique selling proposition, what makes our product unique? First of all, it's a hybrid infrastructure that puts other elements from all over together to give you that data processing. We also give you real-time data processing. So as you are working with your data, we manage it for you. Then we have proactive ransomware management in our system. Our systems are able to detect malware before they come. So it protects your company from any cyber threat. We are able to get it and then uh, we give you, we launch an attack before it even comes into your system. We have an unparalleled data tiering system. We are able to segment your data in levels. So your data does not go in silos. Even though we move your data along, we are able to give you the free flow. Then we have a team on standby for you 247. Our target audience are segmented into the market and then the group we are targeting. We are targeting hospitals, financial institutions, multinational schools, and then government institutions. 
who are the people we are looking at? CTOs, CEOs, the chief IT officers, medical directors, and then administrators of these organizations. Then the needs and pain points. Anything IT, anything that has to do with data management, data security, we are there for you. Our key messaging will be hybrid infrastructure, real-time data processing, and then data tiering. We will use websites, email marketing, we will do social media, and then we will do sales promotion as well. We will also put in place content, content that will be able to engage and then inform our audiences about the products we are given. Also, we will leverage on storytelling from tech experts and then critics to be able to give insight that our product is the best on the market. Our budget will be 25,000 cities in total. This is the breakdown of our budget. We will measure our campaign by how many people visit our website traffic, the leads we generate, and then the sales we make. We will also put in place an analytics measurement to be able to fine tune our strategy as we go. Our call to action is this. If you are a business and you are looking for data story, data solutions, we are your go-to place. You can leverage on us and then we'll be able to provide you with the needed visibility. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the presentation. Are the data service local? Do you have an international partner? Do you have any plan for disaster recovery? Because I'm sure a lot of your clients will be wondering, in case of any shocks and you know now anything is possible. Yes, like um, and also if there's any downtime, what do you do? Thank you very much. That is where the hybrid cloud infrastructure really means. That is its work. To, it, it, it's hybrid because it has a public cloud and a private cloud and also on-premises data services management. So the, the, public, the public cloud is assessed by a, a lot of people, like um, people who are using the data as and when it's being uploaded and assessed. But the private is a remote one that is stored, hidden somewhere by especially top level management. So it is like a, a backup just that the unique feature about it is that it is real time. It is backing up and being assessed at the same time you are working with it and working on it. Okay, so where are the data servers? Are they in Ghana or outside Ghana? They are in Ghana and are international. Okay. They are both, yes. Tell me the most important way you will measure your success. One thing. Our most important way we will measure our success is the amount of sales we are able to make. We want to generate the leads. But what is the importance of generating leads if those leads don't lead to okay. sales? You have, you have answered. 25,000 Ghana CD can it deliver for you the sales that you want in terms of your campaign? We believe the 25,000 Ghana CDs could actually do the job. First, because we are looking at websites and then updating our website, we want to generate traffic on our website so people can get the features and a feel of NetApp in real time. So the website, then email marketing, we are doing sales promotion, but then our sales promotion is more targeted at those who will buy our product. We are giving them an extra free subscription so that they will have a feel and then know that the product actually works. And then when they get that, they will come in for more. Then content creation and then telling our story. So we believe the budget could actually suffice. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Many thanks to ECL and Pepsi Day. I was very excited to see how the teams were really going to explain the solutions that they had. Um, coming from um, the tech, tech background, I was hoping you know, they would really sell what the product was and give clarity. I was also expecting to see how they would be competitive um, in terms of their price points or you know, their unique selling proposition. But from the sales angle, both three groups didn't really specify how they are going to do the uh, generation of sales uh, from their marketing uh, prospects, which for me, I feel there was a lot of gap from uh, the presentation. They use the approach for business to consumer marketing. 
than business to business marketing, which is what the products they are selling um, are about. And so um, you would expect that the channels that would be used for selling, they would be clear and be able to identify who the target audience is and how do they reach the target audience with their proposition and to be able to get sales from there. And there, that was my biggest disappointment. Uh, for the first group, which was Smart Cover, uh, when it comes to their innovative marketing approach, uh, I think they, they did well for me, so uh, I scored them highly there. For Workmate, with some of their marketing channels, uh, I think they were a little bit big on the marketing, but not clearly clear on the leads and actually how to convert, you know, use these channels to generate revenue. The third team, which was on NetApp, I think did a better job for me and they explained the company, the profile, the products that they are, they are selling and even the features, the advantages, the benefits, the competitive edge, they tried to explain and summarize all of that. So welcome back Smart Cover. Um, after the faculty had deliberated, um, we are happy to inform you that you know um, you scored 53 points, but unfortunately that puts you in the second position. But well done. Hi, so we are in Smart Cover. Before we started, we were optimistic about winning this presentation. But unfortunately, we emerged second, at least we were not last, and we received constructive feedback from our judges, and we hope to get better, and next time, we are winning the presentation. Welcome, workmates. That was a fantastic presentation, well done to you. But unfortunately, after deliberation, the faculty has decided, and workmates came in third with 51 points. We put in very much effort, we did our very best, we learned, we researched, but we didn't meet the judges' expectation. We promised to do all well next time. So NetApp, um, welcome once again to the boardroom. Um, after the faculty deliberated, I'm happy to announce that you won this round with 78 points. And you deserve a round of applause. So well done. This is Team NetApp, and then we had to work on our marketing campaign for NetApp. We, before meeting the board, we were kind of nervous, but then I think teamwork did it all. It's great to have such a strong team to work with. And then in meeting the board, we were nervous, but then after we met them, we delivered our presentation, and then we came out on top. I feel excited and then we are really grateful to have worked together as a team and in all, teamwork indeed made the dream work. Thank you. Wow, what a set of presentations those were. I mean, I'm completely blown away by all three teams, but I must say congratulations to Team Brainiacs for coming up tops with their next app, um, you know, technological solution. And really, if you're a business out there and you're looking for a way to get competitive advantage over your opposition or, of course, uh, your competitors, and you're looking for ways to scale up your business, then I think you should go to Team Brainiacs. They're not on the market yet, but they really understand the system and AI is the way to go. Well, it's been exciting, it's been educative, it's been eye-opening. But unfortunately, we have to draw the curtains at this point to help them de-stress, relax and prepare for their next task, which will not be an easy one. Trust me, next week, we're just moving a notch higher and we're getting closer to finding out who eventually becomes our top intern. Until then, thank you for watching. Enjoy your night and we'll see you again next Thursday. My name is Berla Mundi. It's been a pleasure. Good night. The Top Intern, brought to you by Enterprise Computing Limited. Stay relevant.
Pepsodent charcoal and lemon infused formula and Pepsodent natural herbal formula for strong teeth and gums and for naturally white teeth. Adansi Travels, feel life's beauty. Center for Higher International Education Facilitation.